So I'm going to go through the one example of each of the concept builders um, that I'm asking you to do for metric things. We're going to be working on this in class mostly, but I want to at least give you an idea, especially if you're absent. So when you pop it up, and the first one's the metric system, it should have your email there. That lets you know you're logged in, and it's going to save your results. There's three different levels. They have different names. So I'm going to start the millicenti kilo one first. Metric units often use Greek prefixes. Oops, sorry. And so if I tap this here, kilo means 1,000. So I think that's right. So if an object is, has a mass of 80 kilograms, it would be 80 times 1,000 grams, so 80,000 grams. If you're not sure about these, you go to the Help Me menu, and there's a lot there. You can think about this question, which gives you specific information about the question. There's fundamentals. And then there's a lot of different information as well. So I do think that the Help Me menu is actually very helpful. So I'm going to check this answer. That's good. <clears throat> I'm going to go from there. And I'm going to go back to the main menu, but you'll need to get all three of these right to get the credit for that level. Um, I'm asking you to do all three levels. They're all worth different points. If we don't get them all done, do what you can. You get points for each one, and some points is better than none. And when the, you get the, that level completed, it will say data way level completed in this little cup will be gold. So I'm going to the matching pairs. Basically you have something like these. So you have to try to match those levels. So 500 millimeters is not 0.5 or 5 centimeters. It actually would be half of a meter. So I would do something like that. I'm going to say check match. And notice those are stars. If I have 5 centimeters, that would be 50 millimeters. So I'm going to check that match. That's OK. Again, if you need to help me, you can go. And it talks about that particular question with the matching. And again, the same information as before. I think you have to do two of these types of things. So it's easiest to pick, pick the ones you know easiest first. So 5 meters would be 500 centimeters. That's not right. That's not right. So that's got to be the answer here. Once you get all four of them, it'll say data way. I think you have to do two different sets of these, first of two matching pair sets. So I'm going to go back to the main menu. I'm going to go here, ranking tasks. So 40 grams, and is this like the largest, the middlest, the smallest? So I've got to put those in all one unit. So 4 milligrams is 0 .004 grams. So I know that's going to be little. Um, 400 centigrams is four grams. So this is the smallest. This is the middlest because it's four grams. And this is 40 grams. That's the largest, I think. <coughs> and again, you've got to do three levels of those. So we're going to go back to the main menu. Again, hopefully all those, you could get these levels. The other concept builder I'm going to ask you to do We'll probably do metric estimations in class. We're going to do metric conversions. And the only ones I'm asking you to try those are the uh, novice, I believe, in the master level, or the apprentice in the master level. So again, your name should appear here. Remember, to get on this, you're going to actually go up to your account and click on that, and it'll let you know what tasks you have. So the apprentice level here, 320 kilograms is how many grams? So you think about moving the decimal point. Again. If you need help, get some help. It's pretty similar, but it lets this one's a little different because it lets you know where you divide by 10, where you multiply by 10. So milli means a thousandth, so a millimeter is a thousandth of a meter. There's lots of different types of ways to show those, and you can go and think about that particular question. So let's go back here. If I want to go to grams, that's a smaller unit, so my decimal moves to the right three places. So I'm going to say on a calculator, this conversion would involve multiplying by a thousand. Now these numbers over here are always greater than one, so it's either going to be multiplying or dividing. So I'm going to check that answer. That looks pretty good. Going from 0.14 meters to however many centimeters. So centimeters is a smaller unit, so it's going to be a bigger number. I'm going to move the decimal to the right again. Multiplying by 100, I think. So I'm going to get out of this. Again, you need to complete all six of these correctly if you get one wrong. 
you got to go back. Um, and there are directions here also to help you out how it works. So let's go back to the main menu. I'm going to go to the um, master level. This level you do not need to do. It involves things like micro and mega and things we aren't going to be using in class. If you want to, I can give a couple bonus points. So this is converting 0 0.0083 milliliters to centiliter. So centiliter is a bigger unit, which means I'd have fewer of them. So I'm going to have 0 0.0083 centiliters, I think. That's the same as dividing by 10. And data away. So again, if you take a look, it's going to be on Google Classroom to get to, to the physics classroom. Um, but you'll need to make sure you're logged into your account. If you forget the um, password, you can request a new password be sent to your email. I think that's it. Thanks.